Hi, and welcome to History's a Blast. We're at Yellow Creek State Park, near where we camp a lot in Armstrong County, Pennsylvania. This is actually Indiana County, which is next door to Armstrong County. They have camping here in cabins and yurts, but no campground for trailers and RVs and such. They do have a nice day use area though, with a swimming lake and uh, fishing and boating. So we thought we'd uh, stop in and check it out. We've already been swimming to cool off on this very hot July 28th, 2023. So come along and we'll see what there is to see. The parking loops for the beach area and the picnic area start here. There's a one-way loop there. Goes in, comes back out. So there's a restroom area up there in the picnic and parking area. We're coming up now toward the swimming beach and we'll get out and walk around and show you that facility. And we're parked here. We'll walk up toward the beach. And we have handicapped parking here. Approaching the beach area. We've actually already been here and in the water for almost an hour, cooling off on this very hot July 28th. It's getting to be toward dinner time, so people are starting to leave, but then other people are starting to come in for an evening swim. It's kind of interesting. This is a day use park. They do have camping in cabins and I think yurts. We'll check that out, but no tent camping, no campgrounds like that. There's the bathrooms up there, and there's a shower, outdoor shower, for rinsing yourself off before and after, getting the sand off your feet. It says there's a concession in the website, but there is no concession. There's a picnic pavilion over there, and this might be a concession stand area for, you know, like a vending truck or something. Looks like a camp host pad and a campground. You got water stand and an electrical stand over there and a picnic table and a concrete pad, but nothing on it. And of course, there's no reason for a camp host when you don't have a campground. So let's walk up over the crest here and see what the beach looks like. There's no lifeguard on duty. Swim at your own risk. There's the beach. Nice sandy beach. This is a Friday afternoon, so it seems adequate for the population it supports as a day use park. Indiana County, the city of Indiana, the county seat is about, uh, oh, about 15 miles as the crow flies. I will say that the sandy bottom of the swimming area itself, which goes out to about five feet deep at the far uh, extent where the yellow tubes go across, it's a little rocky, a little stony, until you get out into the deeper water. That's probably just because of erosion and so on, but we were at Cowan's Gap State Park swimming in their lake two weeks ago, and we found that the bottom there was quite soft. So it might be an issue of erosion, wind, length of time since the lake has been drained and the swimming area has been maintained. But all in all, a nice area. That's the Woodland Pavilion for big groups. As we come back out. The sign says there's a 20 horsepower maximum on the lake. So small boats with small engines. See pontoon boats over there. No fishing from the dock. Life jackets. Looks like you can rent pontoon boats here. That's pretty neat. We'll just take a walk up here and check the place out. Nice view of the backwater of the lake there. Wetlands over there. And I see the, I see there's a boat launch way on the other side of the lake as well. Okay. Hi there. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Kayaks. 
think that guy looks like all sorts of kayaks down there. Looks like sailing boards. Motorboats as well. Uh, I'd say three to four feet. Oh, so those are the those pontoons down there aren't for rent then? Yeah, I have five that I rent out. Oh, the five of them you rent out, yeah. yeah. And kayaks yeah, two, and yep, sailboards. Kayaks, sailboards. Did stand I see up paddleboards. Stand up paddleboards, okay. Yeah, I have a canoe. I have some tandem kayaks. Cool. Well, that young gentleman was very helpful. The cabins and yurts are on the other side of the lake, North Shore. So I think we'll skip that for this visit because we're camping in trailers and our audience are RVers and history buffs anyway. So with that, I think we'll call this a day and see you on the road. Thanks for watching.